Hello everybody. Our last unit for this semester is on logarithms. So the first two lessons are not that long. The third one will be the longest one where we're, where we're solving logarithmic equations. Today we just have to talk about what is a logarithm. It's not really a long lesson, but it's weird, so you might have to watch it a couple times uh, for it to sink in. And even then, it's just weird. Logarithms take getting used to. So let's start with something that's familiar. This is an exponential equation, 3 squared equals 9. A logarithm is nothing more than that statement rewritten in a different sequence. So we do have, you know, the word log comes in there. So what I'm doing is I'm rewriting this equation as a logarithm. So log, now if I talk about this exponential stuff, this is the, <coughs> excuse me, the base of the power. That is the base of the logarithm. It gets subscripted, which means it's a small letter moved down, or a small number moved down. This, I'll call it the answer to the exponential equation. That goes here. So this is log base 3 of 9. And that would equal 2 is the power. So 2 goes here. So my black marker is running out of ink the second. So... Look at what we see here. This one's not much better. Hmm. Here's the base. It goes there. This, like what the exponential equals, goes here. It's, the, it's called the argument of the logarithm. And the power is off by itself. I think that's the easiest thing to learn, is the power is off by itself. So square one is what is a logarithm? That's what it is. If you think that's weird, I don't disagree with you, but our job is to get used to it, not to like it. So this is what a logarithm is. What you've got to get used to is how to put things in their places, and one of the jobs that we need to do is rewrite it. So you've got to be able to take an exponential and write it as a log, and a log and write it as an exponential. So let's do another example like this without using the colors this time. Let's say I have 5 to the third is 125. How would I rewrite that as a logarithm? Well, let's look at the pattern. I have a log, and then the base number, this little subscripted number, is the base number over here. It's the number that's being raised to the power. It's called the base. So that goes here. The answer, quote unquote, goes here. And the number all by itself on the other side of the equal sign is the power. So log base 5 of 125 is 3. That's the same exact thing as this. It's a different way to say this. I know you're probably thinking, well, I like saying it that way better. Uh, I get that. It's clearer. Everybody's used to it, but our job is to learn logarithms. So this is how I rewrite it. Well, that leads to this formula, if I want to learn it as a formula. Um, let's write the exponential first. A, a number, let's call it the base, to a power, let's call it n, would equal some answer, let's call it m. That can be rewritten, it goes both ways, as log base b of m, that's weird, people, you know, people don't like that, equals, and the power goes over by itself. It's a pattern thing. It's definitely a pattern thing. You just need to get used to where the pieces go. As you do a lot of these problems, do your homework, do some of the homework, as you do these, you'll get more and more used to it. If you only practice one or two, you are not going to get used to this. So let's go the other way. How do you rewrite it if I go in reverse? What if I give you a logarithm first? 
All right, so let's say log base 7 of 49 equals 2. How would I write that normal as an exponential equation? Well, this number is the base. See that number right there? That's the base, the thing that's raised to the power. The number over here by itself in a logarithm is the power. See that? The number by itself is the power, so that 2 is the power. And this number right by the logarithm, the normal size number, that's actually the answer to the exponential equation. So log base 7 of 49 equals 2 is exactly the same as saying 7 squared equals 49. I know, like, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Because we're learning logarithms. So this is going forward and back. Let's do one more of these. Uh, log base 6 of 216 equals 3. What does that look like in exponential form? That's the base. That's the power. That's what it equals. See, if you do enough of these, that's what it feels like. You just got to get the pattern. That's the base. That's the power. That's the answer. If you only do one or two, it's going to be a lot more awkward. If you do a lot of them, you will get used to it. So one thing on the test is you'll have to be able to rewrite one of uh, uh, something like this as a logarithm, and you got to be able to rewrite a logarithm as an exponent. All right, so what else on this just intro lesson to logarithms? Well, there's two special kinds of logarithms. One is called the common log. Let me put a cap on this marker here, since I can't go out and get extras. And one is called the natural log. Now, I'm not so concerned that you know the names so much as you know like what to press in your calculator or how to rewrite it when you see it. So common log is base 10, and natural log is base e, and that's really weird for people because e is kind of like pi. It's a, it's a letter, but it actually stands for a fixed number. It's not a variable. In any case, this looks like this. Log of 100 equals 2. Notice that there is no number right there. It's missing. So I'm putting that so you see it's missing, and now I'm going to make it truly missing again. If you're doing a problem that has logarithms and there's no number right there, that means something. That actually means there's an understood 10. If there is no number there, it's understood to be a 10. Just like when you do a square root of 36, there is an understood 2, square root. We never write that to, but it's there. All right, so if, let me write it this way. This is the same as log base 10 of 100 equals 2. So if I had to rewrite this, I would have to understand, oh, there's no number there. It's actually a 10, and it's raised to the second power, and that equals 100. See, that one's a little weird because it's missing one of the parts because it's understood. All right, natural log is similar. I would see something like this. Ln of, let's do 75 equals, I got to plug this in my calculator. Hang on. Ln 75 equals 4.317. Well, that is the same as log base E of 75 equals 4.317. So that's weird. Like I'm changing the ln instead of log. That's because a log with no number is already written. We already used it up. That means base 10. So now we have to, like, what else can I say? Well, if it's natural log, I'm going to call it ln. I know it's backwards, not nl. But it's natural log, ln, and that means, the ln means log base e. 
So if I asked you to rewrite that as an exponent, it would be base e, that's the power, and that is what it equals. So that's how I would rewrite that. So there's the basic where stuff goes and how you rewrite it. There's these two special cases called common log and natural log. And now we got to talk about how, how would I punch a logarithm into my calculator. That's important. We have to know how to do that. So that'll be the last part of this lesson. Now, oops, I just wrote on my wall. I'll have to erase that later. Yeah, you can see that there. All right, so let's say I have some problems that I want to know the answer to. Um, lo oops. Log base 3 of 12. Log base 6 of 1,000. Um, log of 731. ln of 15, log base 100 of 3142, which picks up random. So what I want to know is what are these equal to? So now I'm not solving, I'm, I, I mean I'm not rewriting, I'm actually solving this. Well it depends on your calculator style. Some calculators, for this model right here, if I press alpha window, there's a command that says log base. I don't know if you can see that there. And I could just enter what I see. So my first problem was log base 3 of 12. So I'm going to enter a 3 there. Scooch over. Put a 12 there. And the calculator gives me an answer. Two point two six two. That is that answer right there. Well, some calculators don't have that where it just looks like this. Uh, I'll put here. Let me box this off. Some calculators, the nice ones, where you press buttons, it literally puts this up, and you just plop stuff in their place. You don't got to know anything. You just punch it in like that. Those are nice. Some calculators don't do that, like this model. If I press alpha window, it, it does not give me that option. So I have to do this in a different fashion. So there's a formula for this. I'm going to put most calculators. So what I got to do... Let's say I have, i got to use colors here. If the problem is log base, here I'll just write 3 of 12. That is the same as log of that big number divided by log of that little number, the, the base number. Now notice I'm switching from log base 3 to common logs, log base 10. And the reason why I want to do that is because every scientific calculator, non-graphing ones included, has a logarithm button on the screen. Can you see that right there on the, the board? So it it does not have a log base 3 button. It does not have a log base 8 button, but it does have a regular log button. So you can rewrite any logarithm as log, this this button log, log that divided by log this. Now you got to be careful. When you type it in your calculator, you press log, it's going to open parentheses, and then you put the 12. If you immediately put divided by log 3, you will get the wrong answer. Because the calculator thinks this is what you're asking it to do. And that is not what we want. That is not what we want. If you're going to punch it in your calculator, you have to do it one of two ways. 
either you must close that parenthesis or you want to type in log 12, press equals or enter, and then press divide by log 3. And what it'll do is it'll pull the answer down. It'll say answer probably divided by log 3. You could do it either way. So I'm going to go here. I'll, I'll, I don't know if you can see it as I punch it in. Let's see here. So I press log 12. And I'm going to close that parenthesis. And then I'm going to divide by log of 3. If I do not put that second parenthesis right there, I will get the wrong answer. And I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, log 12 divided by log 3. So the second line, all I did was not put in the parenthesis. That second one is wrong. You must put the parenthesis right here or you will get the wrong answer. Or you could type log 12 equals... See, I did that in two steps. Log 12, I pressed equals. Then I did divide by log 3. Notice how this answer is the same as the first one I did. So you can do it either approach. And that's what I got in the first place, 2.262. All right, now I'm going to do it the hard way, this way, uh, because the people who can do this on your calculator, they're already done with these examples by now. The people who don't, we got to be sure we can get this right. So let me get rid of all this clutter. All right, what is this the same as? This is the same as log 1,000 divided by log 6. I'm just going to rewrite them all. This is, oh, see how this is a regular log? I don't have to rewrite it because I can just use the log button. LN, I don't have to rewrite it. I can use the LN button. Log base 100, there is no log base 100 button. So I have to rewrite this one. This would be log of 31.42 divided by log of 100. So let's see. Log of, let's go back. Log of 1,000 equals divided by log of 6. So I'm getting 3.855. Log of 731, there's no number there. I literally press log button 731, enter, done. 2.864. LN, I literally press LN 15, enter, and I get 2.708, done. This one, I can't, there is no log 100 button, so I got to type in regular log 3142, enter, divided by regular log 100. And for this answer, I get 1.749. Okay, so that is it for today's lesson. Um, the next one, we'll start manipulating logarithms more without a calculator. Uh, until then, be sure you're trying these problems. The more you do them, the, the better you'll like logarithms. You'll never love them but the better, the better you'll be at them. Have a good one.